The Shared Universe Comic Art Exhibition is currently displaying the talents of a number of graphic artists from Ireland, especially Cork, and abroad in Camden Palace for a week starting on Friday the 11th of September. Inside Cork met a number of these comic creators. Uh, my name is Emmett O'Brien. I'm a comic book writer from Cork and filmmaker. And myself and Paula Larkin, a friend of mine, it was her idea to get a, an exhibit together to showcase local uh, graphic art, comic, like comic based art. So there's a kind of a scene, has, as you said, you were at Man Point, there was an expo recently. A scene has kind of emerged here of talented uh, comic book artists and writers, and we just wanted to give them a kind of a platform for that and show the diversity on, on display. Well. Can I ask you, are all the artists here from Cork? Um, not just from Cork, most of them are, but there's um, someone from Waterford, Tipperary. Uh, we also have um, someone, we actually have a, a piece of art from an American uh, in Los Angeles, a Disney animator by the name of Rob Pratt. We showed two of his films in the cinema as well, uh, and he, he very graciously gave us a, a, an actual still. You can actually see his two films that we showed, Bizarro Classic and Flash Gordon Classic on YouTube. I, I'm a writer, I'm not an artist, I wish I was. But um, last year I made a film called Comic Potential with a, a co-writer and co-director Ross Carey. And it's about a local superhero in Bantry and the kind of uh, everyday uh, crimes, I use the term loosely, that she faces. The joke was there's nothing to do in Bantry. Here's a piece by Alan Corbett called Dylan's Cross Justice League. Uh, what are we looking at here? Uh, I just really love this piece because he uh, he's repurposed the Justice League as kids uh, having kind of like an adventure in a yard to so like uh, you know a small Batman, Supergirl, Cyborg, Superman, all the characters but reimagined as kids having a kind of an adventure game and I just really love it. Cool and next to that I see a picture of Judge Dredd. Yeah this um, is art by Owen Coveney who's actually an artist. He's an Irish artist but he works for 2000 AD and he's done on Judge Dredd in the past and he's, this page is from a story called The Alienist which is currently running in 2018 at the moment. I'm here with John McSweeney and what's this about? It's a take on the French Revolution but it's an alternative take where we have the gentry would have been viewed as almost vampiric so she's actually a vampire chained up the guillotine is almost a throne so they're actually hanging themselves and the people on the bottom are actually wearing converted a variation of the witch or the doctor's mask of the period, but with modern actual gas filters. In addition to the comic art on display, some of which is for sale, Colin and Aileen have prepared a display showing how they create their own weekly online comic. Um, so it's Tiny Wooden Pieces is a is a weekly web comic about board games and board gaming and pop culture. So it's it's tinywoodenpieces.com. So we do a, a one comic. Every, one page every week so I write it so what I do is I kind of I write out instructions to, to, to tell Aileen exactly what's in the comic this week so it's it's kind of it's in the form of you know panel one we see these two characters and they're talking and this is what they're saying and in the background it might be this this and this so I write out kind of a, a, a rough guideline to what's going on and what's happening in each panel of the comic and then I hand it over to, to Aileen. So I'm the artist on Tiny Wooden Pieces so Colin would send me the script and the first thing I do would be just to do a very rough outline of what I hope the final comic will look like. So I just do this like on a just a small scrap of paper I will do just to get um, the layout sorted in my head so figure out okay so in the first panel is there going to be somebody speaking in it is there going to be a speech bubble if that speech bubble is going to be there how much space does that leave for me to draw in the actual characters that are going to be in there and then how is that going to affect the flow of the story when it goes on to the next panel and do that for the whole thing and figure out what needs to be done do I need to do any research or there like uh, elements for the background like a strange building that needs to be there that looks needs to look a particular way do I need to go online and research that could you give us an example of a strange building that you had to do <laughs> um, well recently uh, I had to do uh, come up with a design for uh, a, a tank with loads of cannons on it <laughs> and I had no experience of uh, drawing tanks or anything like that so uh, I just basically went off to the internet and looked up uh, images of tanks and seeing what, what would work for, for the comic and what would suit it and how could I play around with it and make it a bit more fun. Yeah. And Colin, can I ask you, how do people see your webcomic? Um, it's on the, on the website, www.tinywoodenpieces.com. So if you're into board gaming and all that kind of jazz, definitely check it out. This has been a report by Inside Cork. 
Why don't you check out our Facebook page?